I have arrived in Rijeka. It was tough. I didn't pretty much sleep at all because my flight was at 5.50, so I wanted to stay up, not miss my flight. So 3 in the morning, the guy that was hosting me in the house, he dropped me off at the airport. So the airport, to 5.50, got to Zagreb, caught a bus for like two hours. Now I'm finally here and it, this definitely feels European. For the first time, I feel like, yeah, I'm in Europe. So Rijeka is a, a little town, um, harbour, a harbour town in um, the coast up on north of Croatia. I think things a little bit underrated just because people go to like split and then the islands and Dubrovnik. This, this can actually be a school bus. Because, because I was wondering, there's so many kids here, why? The school's actually there. So I think I've noticed from the difference between Serbia and um, Croatia and also Macedonia is they use different style writing. Uh, I don't know what the writing's called, but it's like that symbol. Whereas, whereas Croatian just use like English letters. Do you hear that? There's some girls like screaming. We're gonna check out the top attraction. Supposedly there's like 500 steps to climb. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Cat! Cat, you ready? Give me a punch. Yeah. I have made it to the entrance of the castle. The last gate. It's quite surreal. It looks like, like a garden. Just hidden in the, uh, the hills. This is um, probably the best thing about Europe. It's just like, you don't see this in Australia. We don't have any castles. We have a rock in the middle of the land. Just a big rock. Never seen the big rock before. I haven't done much traveling around Australia. Just the major capitals. At the top of the castle, uh, Trieste Castle. This is pretty surreal. Like you get to see the whole view of Rijeka. It's, it's cool. So now I'm heading back down. That was a pleasant trip, you know, just walking up the stairs again. The stairs add that experience and then, you know, it comes to the climax where you get to see the view and the and the castle. So it's really, um, I'll say it's a nice little trip. If, you, if you're doing Croatia's coast, I, I definitely recommend coming to this town. So it was, it was an interesting day, five in the morning to now. 12 hours later. Anyway, I'm signing off. And remember, the legs out.